these are shady. It's actually a dwarf line fish. Super pretty. You can still put air in the back. Oh my god. Honey, what are you doing? Hey, how's it going? Welcome back. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. <laughs> So today, I'm at a local pet store that happens to actually have a really, really nice fish that I came here yesterday and saw. You're really looking at it. Yeah, I know. I can't see though. They have a really nice fish. It's actually, a, 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 you know, kind of one of like my favorite saltwater fish. All I know is that they told me it hasn't sold in like months. So it's in a super tiny tank and they need probably around a 55 gallon minimum. So we're going to go in there and get this fish out and bring it to an actual pet store that's going to take care of it and get it sold. Shade. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention we can't film in here, so I gotta film on my phone. Let's go. Okay, so this is a dwarf lionfish right up there. Super pretty fish. Definitely hasn't been bought. It's been here for a really long time, so that's the fish we're gonna grab. Okay, they did not want to, well, didn't, Pecco doesn't like me. I'll just start off with that. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. I would love for you guys, because I don't know this for sure. I'm a big freshwater guy. I've done saltwater, but you can still put air in the back with a lionfish, right? Like, I don't want to, I don't want to say you can't, because you might not be able to, but I'm, I'm pretty sure. Thank God they double bagged it, because these fish are poisonous, but uh, I, I feel like you can still put air in there, because that's kind of an important part. I don't know, though. Let me know in the comment section. I just want to make sure I'm right, but we're gonna go take this to a better pet store where it's actually gonna sell because it's never I'm not hating on the pet store but I'm just saying the ones in my location I've been to ones in other states the ones in my location are the greatest we're going to get this guy to a better store because like I said they've had this thing for a minute and it's not selling and it's in a little like five maybe ten gallon tank ready let's go all right we're here here is our little itty bitty lionfish it's actually a dwarf lionfish super pretty and we're gonna give it a much better home today Yeah. Oh my goodness, it's a bunch of flower horns. Bunch of flower horns. Okay, so they're gonna take care of the dwarf lionfish, thank God, which would be great. I might even have them save it for me for when I get a bigger saltwater tank. And then they've got a huge fish shipment in today. If you guys didn't watch the video where Victoria surprised me with the fish, she got me a hill stream loach. Yeah. Like, I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> you keep that in. <laughs> yeah. I look like a stegosaurus. We got these guys right here for the turtle tank. We also got some tiger barbs for the turtle tank. I'll show you guys those back at home. Okay, pitcher, net, and six completely acclimated fish. So we've got some tetras here. We've got tiger barbs and iridescent tetras, I believe. I think that's what he said. I had never seen him before, and I was really interested in getting him because I'm really used to Colombians, serpes, stuff like that. So I was like, oh, that's really sick. But I did get some tiger barbs. I did get these other ones. They're gonna kind of school up. They're not that aggressive. Oh my god. <laughs> Honey, what are you doing? <laughs> Here, here, come on. Thank goodness it's not like a bear trap. It's like the third time that's happened. <laughs> hey, hey guys. Okay, so the fish have been acclimated for quite some time. It's now time to put them in. One, yep. And that is all of them. Okay, so pretty much I got all of the fish in. Their colors are completely disappointing right now just because they're in the waters, but after probably a little while, maybe a day, they'll be like completely back to normal. And then the lighting that I've got on everything, I gotta show you what I did yesterday. So all of my lights on this entire dresser, pretty much, are controlled by this remote. So all I gotta do is that, and that to turn on every single light. And just alone in this tank, there's one, two, three lights. There's the UVB, the heat lamp, and then this one to help out some plant growth. And then in this one, we've got one, and then of course we got the one right here. I also added a little bit of a bubble stone right there in this tank to get some more flow kind of going on for that Hillstream loach. There's already a lot of flow anyways coming from this that pushes down in there, but the Hillstream loach gets a little bit more now, and so he seems to be hanging out around there more. I might get a hillstream loach for this because they're super sick and they're always out, but so far this tank looks crazy. And we definitely helped out a dwarf lionfish today, so that was dope too. Oh, wow. 
Well, there are all the duckies. There's Penny, Nellie, and Brownie, all doing good. We just gotta change the water because they get this thing so dirty. All right, good to go. All right, bye little guys. Have fun. All right guys, hopefully y'all enjoyed today's video. If you've yet to join my channel, click the subscribe button down below. Follow me on Instagram at fanatic.media. If you have any videos, ideas, or suggestions, comment them down below. I'd be super interested to hear them. And if you've ever done anything similar to what I did today, let me know, I wanna hear about it. And if you want to, what type of fish would you wanna do it for? Would you wanna save a goldfish? A whale, a guinea pig. I don't know, let me know. So I'd love to hear it. With that being said, hopefully y'all enjoyed and I will catch you next time on the next episode of Fanatic. Peace.